Today we are ranking traumatic Wings of Fire deaths. Let's go. First up we have Horizon. Horizon died in the first book by jumping on top of peril, therefore committing suicide in some sense. I vividly remember reading Horizon's death and just being absolutely gobsmacked. This is definitely where I felt the book took a much darker turn, because what children's book has a character committing suicide by burning to death? I also really liked the name uh, Horizon for a sandwing, and he- <laughs> I mean look at him, he just looked way too silly to die. And that is why he's getting a C. Secondly, we have Osprey. Osprey died to Queen Scarlet after she lifted him up into the air, dropped him, and making him fall to his death because he had no wings. This, I felt, was also very terrifying for younger me to read. Horrifying and made me sad, but it was it's quite a creative death, so that is a B. Next is Tortoise the Sea Wing. May I ask what kind of f kids book has a character dying from disembowelment not once but twice in the series? That is seriously f***ed up, man! The main reason I don't like Queen Coral is because she goes around being all nice and sweet and then f disembowels someone and afterwards acts like nothing happened. Let me explain how exactly the kind Queen Coral murdered this innocent sea wing. First, she teared out all of her teeth one by one, smashed her head against the floor multiple times, and while she was still alive, ripped open her stomach and took her organs out. All in front of a f***ing audience. I'm putting this as a D just because I feel really bad for Tortoise. Coral, come on man. Next we have... Whirlpool. Whirlpool was killed by a pool of electric eels in the second book. When I tell you I cheered when that creeper died, I f***ing cheered. Not only was it a creative death, but a very well deserved one. S tier. Next up is Viper the False Dragonet. I didn't really feel bad when Viper died just because they were kind of an asshole, but I did kind of like the character because they looked really cool. I also love the fact that when Starflight told Oka to save her since, you know, she has fireproof scales, apparently. Oka just didn't give a sh That's, that's, I feel like that's kind of funny. I feel like if I was in Wings of Fire, this is how I'd die, just because it's such a dumb way to die. Like, you've literally been living on an island full of lava, and now you decide to fall into the lava. So this is a B. Next up is Battle Winner. I feel like Battle Winner had the stupidest death of the series, since she could have easily prevented it by just not getting out of the lava. I mean, if I was Battle Winner and I wanted to kill Starflight so bad, I would have just started splashing the lava in the direction. Or got some kind of like water gun pistol, you know, sunk it underneath and just started squirting the hell out of it. That sounds. Don't quote me on that. I mean, like, what are they gonna do? Breathe fire at me? I'm literally sitting in lava, you dum dum. You wouldn't even be able to get near me because I just duck my head under the lava. You can't touch the lava or you'll burn. And when you're not near the lava, I'll get out of the lava and f you up, man. So, yeah, very, very dumb about a winner. So, that's a C. Next up is Darkstalker. Hot take, but I kind of like Darkstalker's character as a villain. He just seems pretty cool, you know? Like, he's. I feel like he's a rather well written villain. But he also had a pretty uh, weird death. Like, why would you eat the strawberry given to you by, like, your enemies at this time? Like, what do you think was gonna happen, you know? It's like, oh yes, delicious strawberry, thank you for the strawberry, guys, and I'm gonna f***ing kill you all. Not only is it weird, it's also annoying, like, you gotta start all over again. I mean, you gotta go to preschool, like, what do, what do the Americans call it? Middle school, and then high school, university, you know, you gotta do all- <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. C tier. Now we have Darkstalker's father, Arctic. Known as the most traumatic death in Wings of Fire. If you didn't know, Arctic was forced to literally disembowel himself alive by Darkstalker. For some reason, this book series has an obsession with disemboweling dragons. It's a B, just because of how creepy and kind of weird it is. Next up is the Nightwing called Slaughter, who was slaughtered. That's my last one, I promise. And they were killed by Deathbringer's flying discs. That's an A because, I mean, I don't really know much about Slaughter other than that they have a pretty cool name, so I don't really care about them that much, and it's kind of funny to know that they literally got killed by a f***ing disc. Imagine just going about your day and you see a flying CD heading right towards you and it kills you. That is absolutely hilarious, man, so yeah, that's that's an A. Next up is Quickstrike, who was Deathbringer's mother. 
I really like Quick Strike. She just seemed like a really cool character, you know. But her death was like really dumb and sad. She literally was just chilling with her son like over the ocean in like a storm, and then literally just got struck by lightning. Like, what are the chances of that? That's that's also kind of funny. So that's that's an A. Honorable mention to all the Rainwings who died starving in the Nightwing Island. I feel really bad because they didn't really deserve to die. I mean, just look how silly they all were. They were just chilling out. Big L for the Nightwings and that for not feeding them, to be honest. D tier. Next up is that one Silkwing in the newest book that died in a construction accident. How the hell do you die in a construction accident as a dragon? That's just stupid. Just fly. Just fly away. Jesus. That's an S because that's also quite funny. Now we have Queen Oasis, who died from being stabbed by tiny people. How do you even die from tiny people if you're literally this, like, twice the size of a car? How does that even happen? That makes no sense. It's just, that's just stupid. It's, it's S for stupid. Next up is Palm, who was Smolder's secret girlfriend. Palm very similarly died in a really weird, sad way. Like, it makes no sense. Like, it, I looked it up and it's like, died by Skyfire. I had no idea what that was. So she was struck by a Skyfire rock, which is basically like a tiny meteorite in this world. I mean, it's giving the same vibes as being hit in the head with a coconut, which apparently is very fatal. But I haven't seen many people who've died by a coconut, so I couldn't really tell you. B tier. Anyway, that's all the traumatic deaths I could find from multiple sources. I purposely left out uh, the more plain ones, where they just got stabbed or um, fired. Just one final note looking back on this list, there are severely f***ed up deaths for a children's book. Just open it up and there's someone just getting disemboweled, burnt alive, um, what's the other one, hit, hit in the head by a rock. This is the kind of stuff you see like in an R-rated film. And the fact that these are getting a graphic novel illustration, which will probably include these deaths, either there is going to be a lot more upset children or a few more serial killers.